Hello, greetings to everyone. This is Jalaj. So, well, as you have seen my video on the socket, now I'm going to discuss about the RPC. So, I'm taking the basic example over here. So, I'm going to explain the server script. So, in the server script, here we import the daytime library, and uh, after that, we uh, import the from symbol like we import this RPC server, simple as in RPC server library, and then we Sorry, but the, then then we import the RPC library. Then here I'm defining the variable today, so that I can call it later. Uh, I will discuss it. So I'm defining the variable today, and in here I define the today, and I call the date time from the date time library to this variable, and that's the return value that I'm gonna get. So here it goes the server, the, the server that is uh, my the, the server that is my uh, this is my system, so I have a period as a server of myself instead of using a one from the library that's already there. The whole, the whole server is my computer, uh, as in the server side, as it's gonna happen. Sorry, sorry for that. So, here it is gonna print uh, whenever the server is started, it's gonna print this, this thing, and here it's gonna function. And I have uh, registered the function over here. Alright, so this is my server. This is my client side, so here again I have uh, imported the uh, XML RPC library and then after that I have uh, imported the date time library so that it can be easy for me. Now I have like uh, uh, defined the proxy the, so that I can call the server proxy server on my system. Like this is uh, this is my system, uh, this is my system uh, IP address and my system is acting as a, one of the server over here and this is the client because we have to do on the like same uh, system so I have to do this. So after that, uh, now we can uh, recall the today object uh, to the object that I have been I have created over here, so that uh, I can link it to it. And now I'm gonna use uh, call the today object using proxy. All right. Yes. So this is just a random comment open my side. And now over here, this is the uh, I have defined converted so that uh, I get the output on the server side in this format. And uh, this is the print that is going to come on the client side, like it's going to print the, the value from the client side. Uh, which is, uh, actually, uh, what I'm trying to do is like uh, from the client system, I'm taking the time, I'm going to, and I'm uh, like you know, uh, kind of uh, remoting it, sorry, and I'm kind of uh, remoting it to the uh, server side. So if uh, we were like on a different system, then I can like you could easily get the time on the uh, on the another client uh, system. So here I'm going to go, so I'm going to run this module, so that my server is uh, working and it's listening, as you can see over here, we're listening on port from uh, 192.1.2, this is my IP address over my system, now I'm going to run the client as a client, and I run over here, and yeah, I get the, the delay, the time in here, there is some difference in the time, because I'm going to I got the this time over here, and uh, this is converted in the respective uh, format over here, and it's displayed on the server side. So basically, like uh, this is uh, again, I'm gonna like repeat it because uh, it's like uh, on the server side, I can easily uh, access the things on the client side. So therefore, what's the basic is uh, not procedure call. So thank you, thank you for listening, and uh, let's see what happens.